In Overwatch 2, there are two types of supports. The ones that focus primarily on healing, like Mercy, and the ones that focus primarily on damage, like Zenyatta. Now realistically, a lot of the support heroes that focus on damage could be focusing more on healing, except from Zenyatta. He can't really heal any more than he already does. But what if they didn't have to? What if their healing was more of a passive thing that they didn't have to pay attention to. Well, in the case of Brigitte, who I'll be calling Brig from this point onwards, just for ease, this is exactly the case. Yes, she can deploy healing using her abilities, but the majority of it feels much more like a passive thing. If you're new to Overwatch, you might not realize that Brig's healing works as an AoE effect that triggers when she starts dealing damage. Imagine Lucio's healing, but better. You have to be within the general vicinity of her to actually get healed by this, but it's genuinely very very good. In this video I'm going to tell you how you can squeeze Brig to her max potential, being able to heal all the time rather than just standing around waiting to get into a fight and in turn be a lot more valuable to your team. But first I'm going to ask you to subscribe and leave a like on this video as I want to continue making Overwatch 2 related content that's not only entertaining but educational too. We recently hit 100 subscribers and that number only keeps growing and growing so thank you all so much for showing me that you enjoy these videos. First things first. This is a little recurring section that I like to call Kit Breakdown. She has a very, very simple kit. She has a flail that works exactly like Reinhardt's hammer, except when she hits an enemy, it triggers her healing effect, called Inspire. Repair Pack acts like a normal health pack where it heals teammates, but the difference is that it heals them over time, more like regeneration than instant health. Whipshot fires out your flail in a straight line and allows you to knock back and deal a bit of damage to whatever enemy you hit with it. And finally, her shield, which works like every other shield, except it only has 250 health, and you can bash enemies with it, dealing a bit of damage and also knocking them back. You can also use this this bash as a movement thing, but I'll talk about that later on in the video. My first tip for learning how to play Brig is to understand how your whip shot works. This is all the range you're going to get as Brig, so learning how it works is going to be very useful. As I mentioned before, it can deal a bit of damage and also do knockback. So realistically, you could go for environmental kills if you wanted to, but the best thing to do is to push the enemies away from you when you're low on health or don't have your shield to use as a failsafe. The best thing about this ability is that it can trigger Inspire, allowing you to heal your teammates whilst damaging the enemy team at a range, rather than having to get in and get aggressive. From what I found in the practice range, it does around 75 damage, so if you see an enemy who's running away on super low health, instead of chasing them down with your shield bash, just to hit him with the whip shot. My second tip for learning how to play Brig is to position yourself with your shield bash rather than using it to deal damage. Yes, you can get value out of dealing damage with your shield bash, but ultimately what's more valuable? Your life, meaning you can heal your teammates and win fights a hell of a lot easier, or rushing into the enemy backline and maybe getting a kill at the risk of you getting sent back to spawn. Staying in the fight for as long as possible is very important as Brig because you need to be there to deal the extra damage and heal at the same time. So being able to fall back with your shield bash to stay alive is really going to benefit you in the long run. Obviously be aware of the cooldown on shield bash because if you go in without one and it isn't back by the time for you to run away, it's going to be very hard to stay in the fight. My third tip for learning how to play Brig is to know when to ult and how your ult works. Rally is a great ult because of how much it does. Your shield is now twice the size it already was, and the shield bash now stuns when you hit an enemy with it. On top of that, it grants you armor and your teammates extra health if they're within your AoE circle. Since you're going to be playing more aggressive with this ult up, the likeliness of your teammates dying is very, very low. They should be playing with you, not around you, but close enough that they get the extra health and the normal healing that you do already with your flail in your ult. If they die, is it your fault? Not really. It's just unfortunate. You couldn't heal them any more than you already were. So we'll just put it down to your teammate made a silly mistake. It doesn't matter too much. You probably still rolled the enemy team in your role. My fourth and final tip for learning how to play Brig is to play with your team. Try not to get isolated. Playing Brig is weird because as a support, you tend to play a lot more cautiously, staying behind your team to heal them rather than being in the front line with them. With Brig, it's the opposite. You should be playing in the front line because that's where the damage is. And as you know, at least I'd hope you know this far into the video, damage equals healing because of Inspire. Brig's kind of more of a brain off character where you don't have to think about healing because your healing is damage outside of your repair packs. And that just about 
that does it for my guide on how to play Brick. Overall, she's one of those supports that's pretty easy, but takes a little bit of having good game sense to be really good at. You need to know when to disengage and what abilities to use when and why. If you like having a much more aggressive playstyle and diving a lot, then play Brick. She won't always be the best pick because your team might choose to play a much more range based set of heroes like Ash and Sigma, but if your team is playing a comp like Reinhardt and Reaper, then you're gonna find a lot more value in the fights, both in terms of how many E limbs you're gonna get and how much healing you're gonna do. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Once again, I'm going to ask you to like the video as it lets me know that you find these videos not only to be helpful, but entertaining. Let me know if you have any requests for other heroes in the comments below and subscribe so you don't miss that guide when it comes out. There are some heroes that I probably won't be able to make a guide on simply because I don't play them enough, but there are many more heroes on the list that I can make guides on than I can't make guides on. Finally, have a nice day or night if you're watching this at night and make sure to check out my other videos. Not only will I appreciate it, but you might too.